Understanding how your transactions flow through the ledgers in your Rentec Direct account is an important skill. Property tenant, bank account, and property owner ledgers are found in the pages in your software. Open a ledger by clicking on the ledger balance on each page. Ledgers are seamlessly connected in your account, which saves you time. Transactions can apply to only one ledger or multiple ledgers. Tenant rent and deposit charges are automatically created when a tenant is placed in a property and they will flow to their ledgers. Tenant rent transactions will only be found in the tenant ledger. Additional tenant charges posted through the tenant page by default will only flow to the tenant's ledger. On the other hand, tenant payments will flow to multiple ledgers in your account based on your property settings. Notice the automated management fee being automatically calculated for this tenant payment. This happens because the property settings indicated the management fee will be based on tenant payments. A tenant ledger receives a credit for the payment, and simultaneously so will the property and the bank account and the property owner ledgers. This one tenant rent payment transaction will flow to four ledgers, or three if you're working in Rentec Pro. If you are managing a tenant security deposit, click the On Deposit button located at the top of the tenant ledger. Tenant security deposit charge transactions will only appear in the deposit ledger. To print or export out the deposit ledger activity, use the printer icon. Below the deposit ledger, you will see your transaction options as well as a place to record new transaction details. Security deposit payments flow to the tenant deposit ledger, as well as the bank account ledger you linked into your deposit payment transaction. A special note, by default, tenant security deposit payments do not appear in a property or owner ledger. More advanced instructions for managing security deposits can be found in your knowledge base. Property-based expenses tie in multiple ledgers in most circumstances. When recording a vendor expense through the property page, the transaction will flow to the property ledger and to the linked bank account ledger and the assigned property owner's ledger. If you want a property expense to flow to a tenant's ledger as well, bill the tenant for this expense in the property transaction. If you do not want a property expense to flow to the tenant ledger, leave the tenant field as none. Bank account exclusive transactions posted through the accounts page will flow to the bank ledger only. If you are a property manager working in the PM version, it's important to know that by design, property owner transactions are always entered through the property they own and then they flow to the property owner's ledger automatically. All property transactions in an owner's portfolio will flow to the property owner ledger. Special note, if you edit a transaction in a property owner's ledger and remove the property name, your account will not reconcile properly. There are two tenant ledgers, the standard ledger, where regular monthly charges and payments appear, and the deposit ledger, which is used to manage tenant security deposits. Tenant ledgers contain charges and payments. A typical tenant ledger will show a charge in the debit column and then the corresponding payment in the credit column. Notice the filters for isolating date ranges or information found in your ledger. A tenant ledger should only contain tenant-related transactions. If charges meant for the property are in a tenant ledger, edit the transaction and remove the tenant's name. Much like a tenant ledger, a property ledger should contain property-relevant activity, such as rental income received in the credit column and property expenses in the debit column. In a property ledger, memo notes, vendors, and categories for your transactions are displayed. If you notice a tenant-only charge listed on a property ledger, it means it was manually posted incorrectly. To correct it, edit the charge and remove the property name from the tenant transaction. If you're managing a multi-unit property, you will have multiple ledgers to work with. The master ledger is located across from the multi-unit property name and contains all transactions for the entire property. Subunit ledgers contain transactions for the specific subunit in your multi-unit property. 
For example, if you have a property-wide expense, such as property taxes, it would be posted at the master ledger and would only appear in the master ledger. If you have a subunit expense, such as carpet cleaning, it would be posted on the subunit ledger and would flow to both the subunit ledger and the master ledger. Notice in the master ledger, if an expense is from a subunit, the subunit name appears in the transaction. Bank account ledgers contain transactions that are exclusive to the bank account as well as tenant and property transactions if those transactions are tied to the bank account. Becoming familiar with the elements displayed in a bank account ledger will help you find if you are missing details. For those working in the PM version of Rentec Direct, a property owner's ledger will mirror all transaction activity for the owner's portfolio. Property names are listed in transactions, and this is especially helpful for those property owners with more than one rental property. Settings are an important part of your account setup, and many settings affect your ledgers. When adding a property, make sure to add default bank accounts, property owners, and management fees so your transactions will flow through ledgers correctly. Accounting defaults found in your settings page will affect how and when transactions are displayed in your ledgers. Be sure to review your advanced program default settings by clicking on the link in the bottom of the program default page and decide which transaction information is important for you to see in your ledgers. The question mark icon next to each setting will offer additional information to guide you in your selection. Keep in mind that these settings can be adjusted at any point. There are several financial reports that delve into ledger activity. Notice the filters available for each report to help isolate specific information. The account ledger report is especially useful when looking into transaction activity for all properties or for drilling into transactions for a specific time period. A category ledger report displays all transactions in a given time period for a specific category. To view an individual entry in the category ledger report, click on the blue dollar amount. There you're able to view, edit, or delete the transaction. The multi-tenant ledger report is useful for looking at transaction activity for multiple tenants. The vendor ledger report is perfect for reviewing ledger transactions tied to a specific vendor. Check out the in-depth training video dedicated to all your report options. If you still need help understanding your account ledgers, don't hesitate to reach out to your client success team. We're here for you Monday through Friday by phone, email, or through your account chat tool. Wishing you great success.